the 17th of February 2020, GM announced that in 2021, Holden would close its doors. After opening way back in the 40s, its near 90 year run has become an Australian icon. It was originally Aussie owned and made, but over time, changed to being owned by GM, who went on to rebrand some of their cars and even sell them in the States. But out of all the cars they made, the Commodore was by far the most popular, best selling, as well as winning countless races in Australia. So, to farewell the Australian icon that is Holden, I'll be going through the top 5 greatest Holden Commodores ever made. Number 5, the VB Commodore, the first child. A f VB long neck! at 20 to 8 in the morning. The VB Commodore was the first ever Commodore to roll off the assembly line. There were five engine options, two inline sixes and three V8s. The smallest was a little 2.85 litre inline six making a measly 86 horsepower and the biggest a five litre V8 making 153 horsepower. Body options ranged from a four door sedan and a five door wagon and in its two year run, Holden sold 95,906 units. Number four, the VT Commodore, best selling. The VT Commodore will go down as the best selling Commodore in its near 50 year run. Between 1997 and 2000, Holden sold 303,895 units. That's why practically everywhere you go in Australia, you are bound to find at least one VT. Engines range from a 3.8 litre Buick V6 all the way up to a 5.7 litre Chevy LS V8. The VT was also successful on the track, winning both the 1999 and the 2000 Bathurst 1000 race. That's why Commodore leaves the competition behind. Wouldn't you love to drive one? Number three, the VE Commodore, exported billion dollar baby. This is one of the biggest generations of Holdens. It was nicknamed the billion dollar baby due to the fact that over a billion dollars of expenditure went into making it. Engines ranged from a small three liter V6 all the way up to a massive seven liter LS7 V8. In the HSV Holden, it made over 600 horsepower. This Commodore also made its way over to America and was sold as a Pontiac G8 and in Europe as a Vauxhall VRX8. Number two, the VC Commodore, the Bathurst winner. This was the Commodore that started the Bathurst legacy that came with the Commodore. In 1980, Peter Brock and Jim Richards drove VC to the first ever Bathurst win for the Commodore. It came with seven engine options, ranging from a tiny 1.9 inline four up to a five liter V8 making 169 horsepower. The VC Commodore ended up selling 121,807 units in its two year run. Number one, the VF. This was the last good Commodore to be made. After this, it went to front wheel drive, four and six cylinder engine. The engines in the VF ranged from a three liter V6 up to a 6.2 liter LS9 V8, making a whopping 638 horsepower. In 2017, the last ever V8 Holden rolled off the line in the Elizabeth plant. The red sedan sold for well over $100,000, more than twice the original showroom price. The last V8 Commodore left a lasting impression on Australia with its burnouts and bathhouse wins, so that the Commodore will be in the history of Australian transport forever. Now, with Holden closing next year, the Australian car market is not what it used to be, but the Commodore legacy still lives on, with over 3 million Commodores sold in its 50 year run. 
If you liked the video and want to see more, you can click right here to go look at my channel and other videos. And as always, thanks for watching and make sure to clutch hit the like button, short shift the subscribe button, and ring that bell. Oh, 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 oh.